Get ready for another fantastic adventure with the Cisco Kid and Poncho. All brought to you here free on the internet by Wild West Toys. Shop with Wild West Toys at ToyGunTown.com. I'm Bob Terry and we'll see you after the show. Here's Adventure. Here's Romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. We had a wonderful week here in New Orleans, Pancho, haven't we? Hey, Whiskers, am I having fun? I wish you could stay here longer. Look, Cisco, lobsters, eh? Pancho, be careful. Cisco, that is funny. Those lobsters got a long tooth. Oh. And this. Hey, there is New Orleans Museum. And the Lafitte Room. Say, Pancho, let's go in here and take a look. I've always been interested in this Jean Lafitte. Who is he? Jean Lafitte, what's that? Jean Lafitte is a famous New Orleans pirate. He and his brother helped the Americans win this country. Come on, let's take a look. Yeah. Mm, Cisco, this is a nice room, huh? Yeah. Hey, Cisco, what made this Jean Lafitte uh, turn pirate? I beg your pardon, sir. Jean and Pierre were not pirates. They were privateers. And furthermore, they, uh, they, uh, no, it can't be. You're ghosts. That's what you are, ghosts. Keep away from me. Keep away. Don't oh, touch me. Stop this nonsense. We're just as much alive as you are. Si, sí, senor. What, what, what made you think we are ghosts? Why? It's amazing. Perfectly astounding. What is astounding? Uh, amazing. Hey, come, I'll, I'll show you. Look at that painting. <laughs> you know, Cisco, you look just like Jean Lafitte. And you, just like his brother Pierre. Do you wonder now that I... I thought you were ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this go hook and tall. Maybe we got the blood of the pirates running around in our veins, eh? Privateers, sir. And patriots, too. You should be proud that you look like Jean and Pierre. Not only did they and their men help defeat the British at New Orleans in the War of 1812, but they also helped capture Florida from the Spaniards. They did? Yes, Pancho, he is right. Ah, gentlemen. I recall my father telling me of the attack on the Spanish garrison at Boca Grande. It was in 1817. Jean and his men were in camp. There had been no fighting for a while, but the men were not idle. There was equipment to be kept in condition and clothing to be repaired, and, uh... No, then on the cheval pig, I spit on you. What is the trouble, Pierre? Here, let me do it. Voila. Un petit chou. It is very simple. Yeah, for you, maybe. <laughs> oh, my God. A courier from the general, eh? Monsieur Lafitte? I am Lafitte. I beg your pardon, sir, but you don't look like a pirate. I mean, that is, you... Never mind that. Did you bring word from General Jackson? A dispatch, sir. <laughs> he wants us to help him drive the Spaniards out of Florida, huh? The last time we helped him drive them out of New Orleans, we get nothing but promises, let him drive them out himself. Give my compliments to the general. 
And tell him that we'll attack Boca Grande on the morning of the 22nd. Yeah, but John, you... The fight is ours too, Pierre. Don't forget, we are American now. That is all. Very good, sir. <laughs> American. I am privateer, and privateer fight only for gold. Then goodbye, old friend, and good luck. Oh, you cannot mean this. But I do mean it. Oh, well, wait, I, I am a fool, but uh, who's going to protect you when the fighting is the worst, huh? If you leave me, I will go with you. Ha <laughs> ha, Pierre. I knew you would see it my way. And as for the gold, ah, gold, poof. There is plenty of gold in the garrison at Boca Grande. <laughs> now he tells me. Open the gate from the inside. flag over Boca Grande. And it is said brought its treasure back to Louisiana with them. They got plenty of gold with them, huh? <laughs> yes, quite a lot. But nobody knows where Lafitte buried it. Buried it? Yes, somewhere in these parts. Many people have searched for it, but with no success. Are you sure you're not descendants of Lafitte? Who knows? But Pancho, we must be on our way. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Adios. Goodbye, gentlemen. Hey, Cisco, maybe we can find that treasure, no? <laughs> you know what it's very punch of? No, but you heard what the man inside said. Yeah, it's just a waste of time. What are you going to do now, buddy? We'll go, go to camp, get our horses, and head back for California. Pancho. Why are you doing this? Shut up, quiet, lady.
Like his neck is broke up, Cisco. The girl is gone, Pancho. Maybe she'll run away. I doubt it. Let's get him on the rig, tie up the horses, and see if we can find any tracks. <laughs> this exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid will continue in just a moment. He's a rat! When my back was turned, he's 
gone, the rat! Uh, bless your eyes! None of your lip, you scurvy scum! I'm your mother! So get out there and find him! Come on, Bernardo. Right. Bring your canteen with you. Here, Cisco. Pancho, hold his head. <laughs> Take it easy. <sighs> The feet! The feet! You are dead! Pierre! Pierre to pray! Then I must be dead too. Ah, uh, you're very much alive, my friend. Here, have some more water. That bonnet! That bonnet! It Tony's! Where'd you get it? Where? Don't worry, Cisco and Pancho will get your Tony back to you safe and sound. Come on, take it easy. Throw your hands up. Quick or we'll scuttle you. Get that gun. Pass them away. Throw him over one of the horses. Blow me down, you're the spitting image of John Lafitte. Yes, I know. I've been looking for his treasure. He's in our saddlebags. <laughs> Get up, Mr. Pancho. Pick our gun. Good work, Ricky. Now let's get them all back to Mars. She'll know what to do with them. No trick. I'll show them where the treasure is buried. Ah, go on with your kit. Go on. Go on. Ah. Come on, let's go.
What are you going to do now, Cisco? What we did in our lunch. Hey, how about some water? <laughs> you have a drink, Bernardo. All three of them. <laughs> then finish them off. I'll sure do that, Ma. <laughs> Lafitte buried the treasure? Uh, I don't know. Some place in this ravine. That's all I can tell you. Well, it better be. Or we'll dig that hole big enough for you. Reach and make it quick. You, throw your gun away. Are you all right, Grandpa? Shoot. You'll get her first. Watch him! Make another break and I'll break your neck. Now get going! Well, if there was no treasure in the cave, why did you take the bandidos there? To save Tony from being tortured, Pancho. I was praying for time and hoping that my prayers would be answered. And they were, Grandpa. You know, how you know they go to that special place? It was just a guess. Grandpa used to take me there when I was a small girl to tell me stories about the oh, oh, lobsters! Senora! Be careful, Pancho. And just go lightning every head two times in the same place. Senora! Pancho will have a look at your lobsters. Ha! Ay! Oh, Cisco! <laughs> oh, Pancho! <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs> enjoyed the Cisco Kid starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo brought to you free here on the internet by Wild West Toys. You know the Cisco Kid was a very popular show and there were a lot of Western toy endorsements for the Cisco Kid. Lots of cap guns and holster sets things like that. Those are some very desirable collectibles today. And uh, speaking of that the only manufacturer of American made Western toy cap guns is Wild West Toys and we hope you'll come by and see us. 
Y'all have a great day, and we hope to see you again on down the trail. Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and welcome to another free episode of the Cisco Kid brought to you by Wild West Toys. You can shop online with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com. You know, Leo Carrillo is a very funny man in these shows, uh, very able. His character is very able and, and isn't, uh, isn't goofy and inept, but is very comical also at the same time. And Leo handled that part extremely well. You know, Leo was also a cartoonist. Imagine that. Get ready for Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo in the Cisco Kid. Brought to you free by Wild West Toys. Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, a Cisco Kid. Well, Gary, about one more week of recutting, and I'll defy anyone to ever tell that these were once a part of the Peralta necklace. My compliments, Maestro, you're a wizard. Well, why shouldn't I be? After spending 40 years in Europe perfecting the art, and what have I got for it? Weak eyes, round shoulders. That's why I turned crook. I know, I know. You've told me that before. Many times, in fact. Yes, I suppose I have. Well, back to work. By the way, Parker, I've hired an entertainer. Girl? Yes, and very attractive, too. I'm sure the hotel gets to like her very much. And you? Don't worry about me. She's perfectly harmless. Yes. So is a stick of dynamite, until it explodes.
about time for your opening number, Joan. You better get ready. All right, Gary. Hey, Cisco, this is a pretty high tone class place, eh? You got flowers and the women and the music and even the waiters that got on the bobtail monkey suits. Why didn't we never come here before? Because, Pancho, we never passed this way before. You know that's a pretty good reason, don't you believe it? Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm Gary Mason, the manager here. May I be of service to you? We'd like to have something to eat. Something? We want everything. Some arroz con pollo with salsa de chili verde, uh, some chicken tamales, no bones, and maybe a few dozen enchiladas and some tortillas, and we're going to finish with panocha de piñon, eh? <laughs> yes, and we'll finish in the hospital if we have to eat all of that, Pancho. Oh, is that a bad way to die? Oh, this way, gentlemen. Something right, please. Tony will take good care of you. Oh, Gary. Hello, Mr. Parker. Sit down. Keep an old man company. It'll be a pleasure. No sign of that detective yet? No, but the boys will take care of him if he shows up again. Well, you see that they do. Gentlemen, Miss Joan Bentley.
Diego. Start walking. Go on. Why did you shoot that man? I think I will kill you, hombre. is dead, then maybe you will talk. Never mind, Pancho. We'll take them in to the nearest sheriff. That won't be necessary. I'll do it. On your way. Well, that's taken care of. That's one of my pigeons for turning home. Excuse me. Hey, senor, maybe you can tell us who... Never mind, Pancho. Come along. Cisco, where does Senorita go anyhow? What happened? Those men, they got away. They roped me from my horse and hit me on the head with a gun. Take it easy. It will be all right in a little while. I'll... I'll help you to the hotel. No, thanks. I can make it alone. But you can stable my horse. Sure. Thanks very much. Cisco, I'll bet you that man will get away what did it. No, Pancho. Mason let those men get away. What do you mean? He said he was hit in the head with a gun. When I felt his head, there was no bump there. Cisco, Pancho! Hey, senorita! We were looking for you. Why are you hiding here? I was waiting to talk to you. I couldn't do it in the open. Afraid of Mason? Then you know about him. All I know, senorita, when he tell a crooked lie, he do it with a straight face. Then you didn't believe what he said about how those men got away. <laughs> Senorita Pancho got brims on top of his head. Mind telling us what it's all about? I picked up your message to your friend. He was my partner. I'm Joan Bentley, insurance detective. Holy smokers, what are you detecting? The Peralta necklace. No doubt you read about it being stolen. Who hasn't? Well, Stan and I traced it here. And I got a job as a dancer to wear my way into Mason's confidence. You think he got it? Not only that, but I think he's mixed up in a number of other diamond robberies. What made him suspicious of your partner? I don't know, but I overheard him talking to one of his men, and then I knew it was all over for Stan. There was no way I could get word to him in time to warn him to stay away, and, well, you know the rest. Oh, hello there. What, leaving us so soon? Oh, as a matter of fact, we plan to stay a few days. Yeah, the weather here is good for my lumbago. When it don't ache on one place, it aches all over. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll excuse me. I'm taking my daily walk. It's great for the health. You ought to try it sometime. Ah, oh, heliotrope. My favorite perfume. Yours? 
No, a memento from a friend. Ah, you... It must be served. You're right about that girl, Tracy. Look what I found up in her room. Her credentials from the insurance company. And you told me she was perfectly harmless. She will be when I get my hands on her. Don't be a bigger fool than you are. What do you mean? First things first. Remember that, Gary, and you'll live longer. So? The girl can wait until we take care of Cisco and Pancho. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. Good morning, miss. May I join you? As you wish. Thank you. Well, it isn't in his room. Any ideas? Maybe on his person. Possibly on his money belt. Be careful. Here he comes. It's a beautiful day. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And how are you, Joan? Fresh as a daisy. Sit down and have a bite with us. I'd like to, but I've got some important business in town. See you at dinner. Dear Gary, buyer for stuff will meet you at the Rockport Hotel on Wednesday. Ask for Larkins. Don't forget my cut, Joe. I told you he had it, Cisco. Well, but he'll not have it much longer. We'll see to that. I wonder where Pancho is. I'll see you later. Like to meet you. His name is Paul Parrot. <laughs> hey, Paul, say hello to a little pigeon. Hello, Paul. Hello, little pigeon. Hello, little pigeon. <laughs> Where you come from? Timbuktu's? Oh, what a poor little animal. You got some little baby squab someplace, eh? You got it? Yeah, give me that bird. Well, senor, I... What's the idea of trying to steal my pigeon? Well, I didn't was trying to steal the pigeon. I was just talking to him like the pigeons talk to one, you know. I don't know what's the matter with this man. He don't laugh at all with his face. I... I... <laughs> Pancho. Let's go after that necklace. What's well, Cisco? You know where it is? Going my way? Great try, Mason. You do the reaching. Both of you. Drop your guns. Make it fast. Cisco, that letter was not a letter, it was a trap. And a neat one, too, you must admit. What are they going to do with us? You'll find out soon enough. All right, boys, mount up. Cisco, throw me your gun, Cisco. You 
hurt by Cisco? Oh. Are you? I'm all right, Pancho. Yeah? Just my wound was knocked out of me. So bullet hit my belt buckle. Cisco, please don't ever do this to me again. What do you want, my white hair to turn black, Cisco? Huh? Hey, you dropped something, huh? Pancho. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I find that in the pigeon place, you know, Cisco. <laughs> I, here, I find that after Senor Parker, he thinks I want to steal one of those pigeon birds to fly out of the sky. It's Cisco, look. Oh, Cisco, it's diamonds, huh? Look. <laughs> yes, Pancho, diamonds. Yes. Stolen diamonds. Yes. Look. <laughs> Give me back the diamonds. I was just putting you going to do it, Cisco. Can't you understand, Tracy? We've got to get out of here. They'll be after us. Well, they won't bother me. I'm in the clear. Oh, well, I'm not. Well, that's just too bad, Gary. You should have been a little more careful. Suppose you give me my share of the diamonds and I'll leave. You'll get your share after they are sold. Oh, so that's it, huh? Look here, Tracy. Either you give me my share or I'll expose you. Why, you... Well, it... Uh, it seems I have no choice. Oh, by the way, the key to the safe is in my coat there. Will you get it for me, please? The police are after you. Clear out past. Frighten you, Mr. Parker? Si, sí, senor. Cisco sent it with that pigeon I borrowed from you last night. Take a look, Pancho. Ooh, Cisco diamonds, huh? Enough to open a store. The glistens. Yes. Look at the glistens. Yes. Oh, oh. Nicely done, Cisco. Did you find the necklace? You'll never find it, miss. I've recut every stone. Are they in there, Cisco? Oh, see, sí, and plenty more, too. Well, you can turn them over to me now. I'm sorry, Joan, but I can't. The authorities will need them to use as evidence against Parker. That's right, they will. Well, I'd better send a wire off to my boss. Drop your gun, Pancho. Don't move, Cisco. Drop it, Pancho! Try that again, Parker, and I'll blow your head off. You're a nice guy, Cisco. But don't believe everything you hear. Especially from a girl. Then you ain't no detective, don't you? Me? That's a laugh. No, sonny boy. I take my diamonds where I find them. Just like our friend Parker. But how about those credentials from the insurance company? My partner Stan was an artist when it came to forgery. I'm going to miss him. Well, he certainly put one over on me. Don't feel too bad about it. I fooled smarter chumps than you. Now toss over that box. Here it goes. Anything you want me to send you in prison, Joan? Yeah, a half a dozen good hacksaw blades. <laughs> you 
you know, little pigeon, you're awful pooty. Why don't you comb your hair sometime, eh? You got pooty little pooties, too. Pink pooties, how pooty. <laughs> what do you got your nose at all? Something on top of your nose, you got things. <laughs> I might have known I'd find you here with the pigeons. Don't you ever get tired of them? Not much, you know why? Why? Because someday I'm going to buy a little rancho and I'm going to raise flying chickens. Oh, Pancho, chickens don't fly. Yeah, but they will when I marry them with flying pigeons. Oh, Pancho! Oh, Pancho! <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon! <laughs> Cisco Kid, starring Duncan Ronaldo and Leo Carrillo, and we hope you'll come by and see us at www.toyguntown.com. I'm Bob Terry, thanks again, and y'all have a great day.